Okay, this is uh, Mark Cell Therapy for the Heart. And um, outside Dr. Lucas's uh, home and office. So I'm going to ring his bell. It's chilly today. I don't know what happened to the weather, but it's like 50 degrees. Oh, Dr. Mark Cell. Hi, Dr. Lucas. Hi, come on in. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. By all means. It's an honor. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. So, do you want to show me around this part I'll of your... I certainly do. You want to meet my secretary? Sure. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? Good. Very well, thank you. Good. Very good. You like the chilly weather out there? It's not so bad. This is an office where uh, your Dr. Marie Lucas used to at work one in. Time. At one yes, time. At one right? time. Nice plants you have there. Yes. And how long have you been here, Dr. Lucas? Oh, I've been here for God knows how long. And I like the, I particularly like that uh, arrangement on the wall. There. That's beautiful. I think it is a beautiful thing. Yes. You know, we used to have flowers outside too, growing in front of the, in front of the window and along the window. Yeah. And this is very interesting, the screen. This yes, yeah, the screen. And, it, uh, and she used to put a patient down and sit here. Uh-huh. Next to them. I'll show okay. you the rest of the place. Wanna come in here? Sure. This is my inner office. Okay, okay. I'll come in. Good. And I teach here and sometimes I hold uh, uh classes here as well. I give them an assignment where they're supposed to say whatever occurs in their thought at that moment that they want to speak and it's to encourage them to be willing to say out loud things that they wouldn't normally say with other people around but since these are all co-students they should uh, take the opportunity to practice saying out loud things that they would inhibit because some of those things are very valuable for the other students to hear and also for them to say uh, because it, it enables them to be more free in their talking. Uh, psychoanalysts need to become freer talkers. And so that's the uh, uh, first part of that. I do group supervision mm -hmm. uh, where they just, if, if they don't need my assistance and they can supervise each other, I'm happy to see that happen. And if not, then uh, I help with the supervision myself. I sit when I'm doing per one person at a time, I sit like that and if I I'm seeing uh, a couple uh, or a threesome or a foursome. Uh, I rearrange the chairs somewhat and I sit, sit the first two over there and then I put other chairs alongside. For example, I do do groups in here as well. And uh, sometimes I have chairs for six people uh, sitting around and, and uh, some of the people who are in the group may not be there in person because they had uh, other uh, other uh, important things to do, but they want to be in the group, so they um, call in, and I have a slightly different setup for having a group with uh, some people who are here in person and some people who are uh, here uh, over the telephone. What's the purpose uh, in a few sentences about having somebody lie down versus ah, sit Ah, lying down is very, very important because if, as, if they become used to lying down on the couch, they also uh, uh, can uh, access fugitive thoughts more easily and say them out loud uh, while they're on the couch. Uh, years ago, 
uh, I used to have a lot of patients who were um, inhibited from uh, either walking, no, either sit, uh, standing up or lying down because they were afraid that uh, uh, that there would be people who might be uh, listening in deliberately behind me or something like that. So, and uh, those were the days where there were a lot of police uh, spies with because of the guy who was in charge of all the... Um, Hoover. 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 And yeah. sometimes I understand that you might take them and go for a walk outside. Yes, I used to walk in Central Park sometimes right. with people. Sometimes I walked slightly behind them and sometimes uh, uh, I've had one or two uh, women who felt that they would be freer if I walked alongside of them and even one woman used to ask if I could hold her hand that would give her more courage to so talk. You, so you, are, you were a very flexible psychoanalyst. Yeah, What's this um, picture that you have over here? Well I uh, have... In the middle uh, right here. I have, uh, I have these two pictures in front uh, well, there's actually three pictures right in front of you, but this is a picture that my wife took when we were in Acrocorinth, that is the Corinth up on the mountaintops of Corinth, yeah. and she wanted to see me with my uh, shirt off and uh, wearing the garb of a uh, an ancient Greek person on the top of Mount Corinth. Very handsome man. Right, there. yes. And she, she took that, she re required me to take that picture. And I left when I did it. And I <laughs> held something up in there. I think it's a flower. I'm not sure from here. I can't. Yes, it looks like yeah, a flower. It looks like a flower. That's right. So I, I held that up. I wanted to be a real Greek person, a Corinthian Greek. I, I love doing these little things that Marie asked me to do. I have a picture of my wife when she was a high school girl, uh, or maybe even a little bit younger, but she was uh, a, a very bright student. She was the pr president of the school body two years in a row at least, maybe even a third, I don't remember anymore. Uh, yeah. And this is a picture given to me by an old patient of mine who, uh, when, uh, he was an artist, and then he went to Korea and got married there, and married a Korean woman in Korea, and he sent me this picture. Uh, so oh, it's very beautiful. Oh, yes. I have no objection to taking gifts from people and because uh, I feel that I give them uh, gifts as well. That's very nice. It's a very yeah. nice attitude yes. to have. You're a very uh, yeah. thoughtful uh, psychoanalyst. Uh, yeah, it's it not only modern psychoanalysis, mm -hmm. but it's the psychoanalysis, uh, the particular kind of psychoanalysis that I was taught by Hyman Spotnitz, That's who right. was a wonderful teacher and the teacher I was most impressed by uh, when I was, uh, I had the, uh, I had the ch chance of seeing him at work on the very first day I met him, yes. Very good, so we're going to come back to Dr. Hyman Spot, and that's in another um, a video clip. But thank you so much, Dr. You're Lucas. You're welcome, for, any time. Uh, uh, this is off. Mark Sell and Dr. Lucas from the channel. Therapy for the Heart on YouTube.